round 18 BPL action out here at Knights Stadium as South Melbourne travel to take on the Melbourne Knights. They've had a couple of good wins and they've had a recent good run of form, but they'll need to continue that today, John, as they push towards the finals. As the Knights, with the early running, although chopped off by Norton. Gets a bit of run going here, Brad Norton. Loves to push forward. Still going Norton, plays it inside. Keenan, good first touch. Keenan the shot and the goal. South Melbourne take the early lead. It was a great run from Norton. And Joe Crackers Keenan puts it away after a good touch and a good finish. Perfect start for South here, John. Perfect start after only 90 seconds, David. A fantastic run down the right-hand side from Bradley Norton after winning the ball on halfway. Looks up and sees Joe Keenan, who takes his first touch, which gets around Adam Zilich, and he places it past Aaron Romain and into the far corner of the net. A fantastic opening goal for South, and hopefully they can go on with it, David. Great start for South Melbourne, exactly what they wanted. Firo, not quite a short corner, but he gets Fernando on the edge of the box. Fernando, decent shot, but uh, easily gloved that time. Fernando with the armband, goes out. Andy Blahos, great goal last week. Blahos puts it in, looking for Burton, puts it up high. Trefiro brings it down, lays off. Good chance, Fernando, straight at the keeper, and the Knights not troubled that time. Another good chance for South as Glenn Shapiro does well to control this. Looks up and sees Fernando running through, lays it off to him. Fernando going with his left foot at the near post and it's never going to beat Romain there. Had his near post covered and in the end gets away with it. Well, the Knights now, probably their first good foray forward. They've got to get some numbers in the box here. South, of course, had trouble with clean sheets and they nearly gave that one away there. A good run at the near post, but nothing doing for Knights. They'll look to open up south again. It's from the right-hand side this time. Nakic is lurking in the middle. And they might be able to get through. Vincent on the ball. Still going. Gets past Rodri Payne. Turns it in. Good chance, Nakic, and it's a goal. Young Nakic has scored again. And the Melbourne Knights have hit back. It's one all now. South Melbourne just unable to get that one away. And frankly, the Knights, well, they've taken their chance. Great hustle and bustle here by Vincent on the right-hand side. He beats his markers, Kelly and Rodri Payne. Does very well and then cuts it across for Jake Nakic to tap in past Peter Cavalis. It's a very good goal by the Melbourne Knights. Very well worked, but unfortunately for South, some very slack defending there, which results in the goal. Well, the Knights, they have a chance here to go straight away in the lead. They build up. What have they got on here? Well, the ball's flicked on. Might stay alive. Ball played in low and Cavalis beats it away and they eventually clear it through Kelly. Dangerous moments there for South Melbourne, nearly something out of nothing. Very dangerous moments indeed, David, as the Knights almost find a way through here. A little back heel that almost catches Cavalis off guard. Does well to get his body in the way and South clear. Well, of course, it's been a deadlock since half time, but Rodri Payne might get South going in the second. Play on called, no foul, Burton. Wonderful ball, Fernando! Oh dear, oh dear, that was a great chance. And frankly, South should have the lead. South should have the lead, David. We all thought that it was a foul and play would stop, but Burton keeps going. He nutmegs his marker. A lovely cross from the left-hand side to Fernando, who could have brought this down and controlled it. In the end, he goes for a volley that goes wide of Remain's goal. That is a glorious chance wasted by South. Oh, the Melbourne Knights, can they hurt South on the counter? Happened just about all season. Rodri Payne might get this one away. His clearance, not a good one though, and they're back on here, the Knights. They've got to work it into the box. Nakic lines up the shot. Nakic, the goal! A goal from nowhere. He's hit that one from about 35 yards, and as well he might celebrate, John, and so do the fans. It's 2-1 to the Knights. What a wonderful goal here by Nakic. Uh, unfortunately, South unable to clear. Glinch Ferro gets it as far as Nakic, who just lets fly. On the, first, on the first attempt, David, look at that. That's a fantastic goal. One of the goals of the season in the VPL. Gavalis, no chance. But we've said it all season. South go down the other end and miss a chance. And the opposition go forward and score. South 2-1 down. Oh, they have to roll the dice here, South. They can't afford the losses. Roger Payne, yes, he's drawn the foul there. And they'll have to go quick with it. Oh, well, dear me. Now that was, uh, yes, that's going to be... Oh, my goodness, he's produced the red card. Well, John, I was waiting Very for the... Very harsh, bit. David. I think so, Svitkovic. I was just assuming that there was a booking coming there, but the red card comes straight out. You can only assume that he's played that for retaliation, but geez, looking at the replay, John, I feel that he's a little bit unlucky. I thought the initial challenge here was uh, six of one and half a dozen of the other, David. Both players fighting over the ball. A foul was called. 
Rodri Payne has the ball thrown at him, but he looks to quickly move on with it, and the referee's dished out a red card. Extremely harsh for the home side, but a lucky break for South. Hopefully we can use this to our advantage. Here comes Ciaris. Keeps going there well, Ciaris. Norton, and this is for the first goal. Goes on another run. Norton gets around. Here comes Keenan, the scorer. Keenan with the left foot. Not gonna break through Remain that time. Fernando puts in the cross. Remain gets the punch, it's not well cleared. It falls to Kelly and it's a goal. Sean Kelly turns it in well. It's two all now. South Melbourne have hit back immediately and hang on a minute. We may have another incident off the ball here, John. It looks like Remain and Keenan have come together. I thought Keenan looked a bit upset immediately after the goal there, but I didn't see exactly what happened. And Let's have a look at what happens for the goal, David. Across from Fernando on the right-hand side, which is met by Dimitriaris. The looping header, which uh, there's a sea of bodies, as you can see. Remain can only get a glove to it. It's only as far as Sean Kelly, who scores his first goal for the club and a wonderful finish on the half volley. We see Keenan go down there from Remain, but uh, we missed, obviously, the camera moves away from there. We can't see what's happening after that, but the two players seem to be laughing it off. As Glenn Trafiro goes off, David. Yes, and on comes uh, Marinos Gasparis, and it's time for South Melbourne to roll the dice and see if they can take their chances. Norton's ball cut off. South Melbourne won't win it back here. It's the Knights now on the charge. They might be a chance to win it still. They'll be up for it. The Knights going forward and the final shot. Well, not a good one there after a promising build-up. Promising build-up indeed by the Knights. And it's uh, Anthony Colosimo who plays Chris Talejic through. His shot at the near post doesn't trouble Peter Gavalis and it sails. Hope we'll see over. Off comes Fernando de Marais, the captain today. And it's a debut for young Baggio Yusuf. Let's hope he can get a good touch out there. Tiaris goes wide. Keenan the goal scorer, going for a bit of a gallop. Joseph Keenan, very handy with the ball. Norton out wide. Norton plays a cross in, a fly kick missed. Burton lays it off, but Joe Yusuf! Oh, wouldn't that have been a great way to make your debut? Unfortunately for the young man, he just couldn't get a sweet connection. In the third minute of injury time as well, David. Norton with the run down the right, his cross is controlled and an, in an initial layoff there by Burton. Falls for Budgeo, could have made himself a hero. There is some last dish defending by the Knights, but really young Budgeo should have put that on target. Great chance wasted. Last chance perhaps for South. Burton looks to get the flick on, but it doesn't matter. The referee has blown full time on what was a fairly entertaining 2 all draw. Scrappy at times, but attacking. Plenty of goals, plenty of action. And well, mixed feelings maybe for South here, John. Very mixed feelings indeed, David. South were good for the win, but in the end, they probably will take the point here at Summer Street. The Melbourne Knights were up for it today, and it was a very hard-fought derby. Well, I've got Joe Montemuro here with me, of course, standing on the uh, touchline again today. Joe, probably the word of the day here is frustration. Oh, absolutely. Um, probably not uh, not a good performance in regards to the to the fluidity of play. I think we were we were just a little bit tentative again. Um, you know. You go ahead early and we're probably in, in uncharted waters like, uh, like last week and uh, then tended to drop off and uh, I, I just don't understand why from being such a good ball playing side we were able to maintain possession and when we needed to maintain, maintain possession we didn't and um, you know we let them in and uh, then a wonder goal put us behind and look you know I mean you know this fight and motivation and all that sort of got us out of the game but uh, three points thrown away, three points thrown away again. Yeah, look, going forward now, obviously that puts us in a situation where now we probably need to win the game against Andy next week. We certainly had results go away for the most part over the weekend, but, you know, three points today would have really put us back right knocking on the door of the five. Absolutely. I mean, last week uh, I did say that uh, we've just got to worry about ourselves, we've just got to worry about us keeping momentum and keeping the points coming and um, not worry about other, other teams. But, uh, you know, the more, the more we keep dropping points, then it is going to, then it is going to rely on, on other results. And uh, we just don't want to be in that position. And, and again, you know, uh, our fault, no one else's fault. In terms of personnel, we've got a couple of players due to come back in soon. I believe Tom Matthews due in next week, if I'm not mistaken. And we had another debutant today, young Baggio as well. Yeah, look, uh, the, I was going to make the change a lot earlier. You know, we, we were going to probably push push with an extra player playing forward. Um, then we scored and um, I thought that, uh, you know, we, we probably then, then opened them up a little bit and created maybe one or two other chances. And, yeah, look, it's just one of those games, you know, you, you get exposed and... Uh, uh, you're going forward and uh, then you get exposed uh, you know, on the way back. But look, um, uh, frustrating. I suppose on a more positive note, good to see Sean Kelly get on the score sheet and had a pretty solid game in defence as well. Look, I, I spoke to Peter and I think, uh, Peter Gavalis, and I think he had one save to make in effect. Um, 
again, you know, you, you, you can read into that as much as you want, but uh, it seems to be that uh, it's either wonder goals or, or situations where we, we switch off that we get, we get punished for, and it's, uh, you know, it's, it's just really frustrating, really frustrating. But look, uh, to boot, we, di we didn't play, you know, to the standard that we know we can play, and uh, we'll take the point. So obviously you've had some pretty good form in the under-21s for them to want to yeah. give you a call-up. You know you play forward mostly? Yeah, I play a striker last man. And uh, how's your form been? Scored a few goals this season? Uh, for the res years, I've scored 12 goals. Now tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, when did you come to South Melbourne? Have you had any clubs previously? Yes, I used to play for Faulkner and this is my first year at South. Now how would you feel? Uh, are you hoping maybe you can get some more senior games this season? Yes, I'm working on it. And looking forward, this is definitely the club you want to be staying at long term? Yes. That's definitely, definitely what we want to hear, Budgie, and hopefully you can be part of a team that pushes for a championship Thanks, uh, later this season and next season too. Thanks, mate. As much as we'd have loved the three points today, we could still push for top five next week if we get over Dandenong. Now, we've uh, played pretty well against Dandenong. We handed them the first, uh, we took their first points for the season last time we played them. Do you rate us as a good chance? Yes, of course. Uh, we've been playing well, and um, again, we're playing at home. So we won, the, I think, in the last couple of games at home, if I'm not wrong. We... You know, we just gotta keep playing the way we're playing, and, um, and if we're getting results, so um, we've got a good team. They have a pretty strong team, so of course we're gonna give everything at home as well, and we've gotta keep um, up and running the, the winnings at home. Of course, got a couple of key players coming back into the side as well. Tom Matthews is due in next week, and Stephen O'Dor can't be far away either. Slowly, slowly, we're getting the full squad in. Um, again, as I say, a couple of weeks ago, we're getting stronger and stronger which is a good uh, part of the season to get stronger. So if we keep going like that we'll, and we make the finals, which I think we will, um, we're going to be very dangerous. Now you sound confident about making finals. Do you think the rest of the team's confident as well? Of course we are, we are, we are. So we're playing well, we, we're getting the results, we're getting the points. We've just got to keep winning because we've got, we got games against um, teams that are above us on the ladder. So if we win those games, especially at home, and uh, we're getting a point here and another point away, we're going to make the finals. If we make the finals, it's going to be harder.